All right, guys, finally back with another binder video. Today's gonna be a two-player video, John Stockton and Carl Malone. Malone was requested more, but I just gotta show both of them together. They just go together. Growing up watching NBA games and NBA highlights, you just, you would hear all the time, Stockton to Malone over and over again, Stockton to Malone. So that's how I have them in my binder. I have a few pages of Stockton followed by a few pages of Malone. So let's get started. So again, we start with John Stockton, one of the best true point guards of all time. And when I say true point guards, I mean his main focus was setting up the offense, making sure everyone was where they needed to be, and then making some great passes, setting up teammates in perfect position to score every time. And you see it starts with some 91 Fleer cards, but I actually have his 88-89 Fleer rookie, but I have that somewhere else as part of the set I'm working on. Wouldn't mind picking another one up to put in this binder eventually, even if it's one that's not in great condition. But as I was saying, you don't really see too many true point guards like him anymore. In the current NBA, it's almost like there really aren't point guards or positions anymore. Like everybody pretty much plays the same way. Like point guards now just bring the ball up and stop at the three point line and put up shots all night. Seems like they're more concerned with scoring 25 to 30 points a night rather than setting up teammates and making the offense flow. Got a ton of inserts on this page. And Stockton was a guy that could score 25 to 30 points on any given night, but again, that wasn't his main focus. He was more concerned with getting everyone involved. He actually did a great job of putting over a lot of mediocre players that he played with during that time. I'm sure a lot of people would love playing with him because, again, he would just give you the ball in perfect position to score. Love that tops parallel right there. I think that's 95, 96. Here's Malone. Out to John Stockton, who again led the NBA in assists. Trying to duck inside. Look at that. Oh, to Malone. He took two cards out. Here's that tops parallel. Beautiful looking shine on that one. And I also took out this insert because it's pretty cool. You got Stockton and Kevin Johnson on one side. And then Stockton and Kevin Johnson again on the other side, but as you see on this side, you got Stockton kind of bigger there and a smaller KJ picture. Then it's the opposite on the back side. Just thought that was pretty cool when they did that. Here's Peyton driving into the lane. His right hander might have been deflected by Stockton. Back on the jab. Stockton with it. Back to the long. No. And there in the bottom corner, another one of my favorites from the first ever Flair Showcase set. Definitely one of my top two or three favorite sets of all time and here we are on the final page already got the flare showcase from a few years later there 98 99 some nice finest really cool stadium club insert and this has to be one of his final cards retired around that time played his whole career with the Utah Jazz which Carl Malone did not and speaking of Carl Malone we'll be getting to him next Look at the play by Stockton. What a great defensive play. The trailer, Malone, and the foul. Utah trying to build a little momentum here. Beautiful pass to the mailman again. Stockton back in for Utah. The long feed to Malone. Just a little rebound. All right, so like I said, Stockton to Malone. So here's Carl, aka the mailman. And here you see that 8889 Fleer set. That's where the Stockton rookie is from. For Malone, I think it was like a third year card. But I think Stockton was actually drafted before Malone. But I guess they just didn't make Stockton cards right away. The whole rookie card thing was kind of weird during that time. But yeah, there's like a special Malone highlight set that Ultra put out during that time. I think it was like a 10 card set or something like that. Love that Ultra Power insert in the middle right there. I have that complete insert set in another binder. That was an extra that I have. Love these two. They had like a basketball feel on the surface of the card. Again, so many cool inserts during this time. But yeah, Malone played the power forward position and he played the game with a lot of power very physical player but he also added some finesse developed a nice little mid-range jump shot 
became just a tremendous all-around scorer. Very difficult to guard. And again, combined with Stockton, running the pick and roll together, it was a thing of beauty to watch. Nice clear medals down there. Really, all of these are nice. So as I've said, I was a fan of the NBA in general during that time. I was never specifically a Utah Jazz fan, but I enjoyed watching Stockton and Malone play whenever I could on TV. And really that whole team, again, even though I never really rooted for them, they played a very fundamentally sound style of basketball, and I always respected that. They were very well coached by Jerry Sloan. A lot of nice ones on this page. That's really mostly what I look to add with a lot of these types of guys, like just some nice inserts or nice base cards from some of my favorite sets from the time. I'm not looking to get like every Stockton and Malone card ever made or anything like that. And here's the final page for the mailman. Some nice shiny ones here, some Bowman's Best, some Finest, some Chrome. And like I said, he did not play his whole career with Utah. Went to the Lakers chasing a championship. Can't remember if he went there just for one year or for two years but did not get his ring with them. But still, great career, two-time league MVP. Malone and Stockton are both Hall of Famers. Both were voted onto the NBA's 50 greatest player list, which was done a really long time ago, but I don't think anyone would argue against either of them still being there. And so that will wrap this one up. I'll continue to leave an updated list of the players that have been requested in the description along with how many votes each player has received and check that out and cast a vote even if you already mentioned a player each video you can request the same player over and over again until I show him and also feel free to request any player that's not on the list and I'll do my best to keep this going so catch you all in the next one